Hi everyone, my name is Megan. I'm from the Merrimack Valley Branch in the St. Louis County Library System. Today I'm going to be doing a virtual story time. I'm going to be reading the book My Friend Earth, written by Patricia McLaughlin, and I have permission from Connor Cold Brooks to read the story to you today. Okay, first what we're going to do is we're going to sing our love song. So first we're going to have our hands. Can you find your hands? Good job. Hello everybody, let's clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. Hello everybody, let's clap our hands, it's time to say hello. Hello everybody, let's stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. Hello everybody, let's stomp our feet, it's time to say hello. Hello everybody, let's jump up and down, jump up and down, jump up and down. Hello everybody, let's jump up and down, it's time to say hello. Hello everybody, let's wiggle our bodies, wiggle our bodies, wiggle our bodies. Hello everybody, let's wiggle our bodies, it's time to say hello. Yay! Okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing way up high in the apple tree. So you can go ahead and you can use your five fingers on one hand, and these are going to be your apples. And I'm going to have these for my apples. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's get started and you can use your hand like this okay but I'm gonna use my apples way up high in the apple tree five little apples that I see so I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came an apple yum it was good All right now how many do we have let's see you can use your hand we have four so we have one two three four Way up high in the apple tree, four little apples that I see. So I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came an apple. Yum, it was good. Now how many apples do we have? On your hand, you should have three fingers. How many apples do I have? One, two, three. All right, let's do it again. Way up high in the apple tree, three little apples that I see. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Yum, it was good. All right, how many do we have? How many fingers do you have? You should have two, two fingers, and I have one, two apples. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples that I see. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Yum, it was good. How many should you have left on your hand? How many fingers? One finger, and I have one apple. All right, let's do it again the last time. Way up high in the apple tree, one little apple did I see, so I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apple, yum, it was good. How many apples are there now? Zero, there's no more on your hand. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna be doing our next song. All right, now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a song called Here We Go Jumping. So you can go ahead and you can stand up if you want. I'm gonna be sitting down for this one though, but you can go ahead and you can stand up. All right, let's get ready. We're gonna pretend like we're kangaroos. Ready? Here we go jumping high, here we go jumping low, here we go jumping around. That's how a kangaroo goes. Here we go jumping fast, here we go jumping slow, here we go jumping around. That's how a kangaroo goes. All right, let's do it again. Let's get ready and pretend like we're kangaroos. Here we go jumping high, here we go jumping low, here we go jumping around. That's how a kangaroo goes. Here we go jumping fast. Here we go jumping slow. Here we go jumping around. That's how a kangaroo goes. All right, good job. Before we read our story, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do something called a snake breath. I like doing some deep breathing exercise before we read our stories because that can really help just like calm our bodies down so that we're ready for a story. So we're gonna pretend that we're snakes. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna breathe in. And when we breathe out, we're gonna make a hissing sound like a snake. So we're gonna breathe in. And now, and breathe in. And now, we do it three more times. Get ready, breathe in. And now, and in. And now, good job. All right, now that we're nice and relaxed, we need to take a seat if you're not already sitting down. And we are gonna read a book for today. All right, now that we're nice and calm, we're going to read our book, and it's called My Friend Earth. Let me see. 
see on this page? She's sleeping. <gasps> and look, she wakes up. My friend Earth wakes from a winter nap. Yeah, she's waking up from winter nap. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer hoes tap tapping in the garden, the calls of crows. She sees the little, the silent sea, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens. And the large, the long winged albatross crossing the sea, the male, the mole tunneling in the underduck. She guides the chimpanzee to her night nest. And the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. Look at all the zebras. She tends the prairie where sun dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish against her, their legs. The tundra where the reindeer graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. She guards all the creatures in all the oceans, the black manta rays, sleek like shadows, the shining parrotfish, the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big, and the whales who are big. Look at the whale and the manta rays. My friend Earth pours a summer rain to fill streams flowing down mountains, through the fills, fields to the rivers, to the sea. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads until she tries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. Until she stills the wind and red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. It's going to be autumn right here, too. We're going to be seeing changing colors of leaves. When cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent, covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in soft darkness, drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling into the empty nest of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching. Waiting. She's sleeping again. <gasps> to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. She's waking up. The end. Good job listening to the story. All right, next we're going to be doing a little finger play. Let's get ready for that. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pretending that our hand and our fingers are B and beehive. So first what we're going to do is we're going to make a fist like this. Here is a beehive. Where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch as they fly out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. They're all alive. Good job. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that again. So let's make our fist. Here's a beehive. Where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch as they fly out, fly out of their hive. One, two, 
three, four, five. Zzz, they're all alive. Good job. We're going to be having our last song. So get ready. Let's get ready for that. Okay, for this one, we're going to be doing zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you would like, you can go ahead and you can stand up and let's get ready. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Go ahead and go. Oh, sorry. Good job. We're going to go ahead and do that one more time. Let's get ready. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Good job! Yay! Thank you everybody for listening to my story time today. I'm so happy that you could join me and watch it. Have a good day!